Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Daz's Top 20 Selling Comic Books of the Week, Episode 61. And today I'm going to be discussing the best selling comics on eBay for the week of the 21st of February 2020. Since CoverPrice.com came on the scene, they've become a go-to spot for watching eBay trends on comics. They scour thousands of eBay sales to combinate data to spotlight the hottest selling books. Here is this week's Top 20, guys. As always, let's find out if you can beat me. Most people normally do. Starting in at number 20 is a book I picked up just recently. We got a new villain. Lois Lane, issue number eight, the Sharahama variant. This is the first full appearance of the Kiss of Death, an assassin. A good book. I was looking for seven as well, but I can't find that. It had a good week. It sold 22 copies. Had a seven day trend of plus 86%. And a high sale raw copy went for $15.50. My LCS had this. He's a good guy. He's my friend Aaron. And he uh, said, what do you want to make an offer for? I thought, let's go a little bit above cover. So I ended up paying five pounds for this. A nice conditioned book. Time will tell if Kiss of Death has got a future, but uh, she leaves a lasting memory, that's for sure. Number 19 on our list, and I made a hot comic book alert about this one. There were rumours of a female ghost rider appearing in the Disney Plus series Blade, which has led folks to this issue, which features the first appearance of Alessandra Jones, who takes on the mantle of the ghost rider. The book in question, of course, Ghost Rider issue number one from 2011, guys. That's your book. You know, I picked, as soon as the announcement was made, I went on to eBay and bought a copy for about five pound. And surprisingly enough, it was canceled by the seller. I don't know how people get away doing that, but it is what it is. Well, that book sold 10 copies at a seven day trend a plus 203% and a high sale raw went for a nice $39.99. Well, up next, number 18 on our list is a book from this year. And remember the whole Black Winter identity might be omnipotentis. Well, speculation has been pretty strong on that for the last couple of weeks. Well, Donny Cates alluded to Black Winter's identity as dark side who knows still the issue is trending the book in question is thor issue number two thor issue number two guys I must admit i didn't know too much about this one because i'm not a big follower of new books as you know but it sold 13 copies had a seven day trend of plus 156 percent and a high sale raw copy went for $11.99. I say I don't buy new books. I was surprised to still find this one in my RCS. This is a book that is based on a hot Netflix series. And the book in question, Agret Suko, number one from Oni Press. They are both this and the variant in my RCS. I went to pick up the variant, but I wasn't allowed. Just one per customer, which is fair enough, I suppose. I did have a look at this show quickly on Netflix, and uh, it's not for me. Enough said. It sold 22 copies at a seven-day trend, a plus 92% and a high sale. Uh, raw went for $24.05. It has come down slightly since, but it's still hovering around the $14, $15 mark. And uh, I ended up paying four quid for this. This is the regular CJ Cannon cover. It's bizarre. It really is. <laughs> that show. Number 16 on our list. And I just, my most recent hot comic book alert actually. And uh, I made on Star Wars yesterday. But this book was on this list before that. Well, the book is going to continue to gain heat. Trust me, guys. I hope you didn't sleep on it. The book in question 
Star Wars, The Rise of Kylo Ren, issue number three. Now we know that the first two issues have been on fire because we've had the first full and cameo, uh, the cameo and full appearance of the Knights of Ren. Well, this issue, um, that one was actually signed. <laughs> but um, that issue is the first appearance of a character who's going to be a huge character going forwards in the Star Wars universe. And that is Avar Chris, who is a female Jedi. Comes from the High Republic, set 200 years prior to the Phantom Menace. I've been following a lot of the uh, Star Wars sites and they seem to think that this is going to be the next trilogy of movies, this High Republic. A load of books are coming out at the end of the year. Well, like I say, it's not as hot as hot 1 and 2, but it's still sold steadily. It sold 23 copies at a 7-day trend, a plus 88% and a high sale. Raw copy went for $9.99. My boy Ethan is mad into his Star Wars at the moment and he was he was always been a comic fan. He first collected a load of X-Men books, but now he's hitting the Star Wars books with real vigor and he's uh loving he's got a new book to read every night from uh, i've been picking up for him and i've ordered a copy for him and a copy for myself star wars the rise of kylo ren issue three first of our chris get on it talking of kylo ren and what would i just talk about issues one and two well next up on our list is the regular cover for issue one the first cameo appearance of the knights of ren who I think were criminally underused in the Rise of Skywalker movie. I enjoyed the movie, but I would like to see more from the Knights of Ren. Well, that book sold 19 copies at a seven day trend, plus 110%, and a high sale CGC 9.8, yeah, they're out there already, went for $99.99. Up next is a book I've been preaching about for forever. Um, I kind of talk into one of my friends at the moment about perhaps purchasing a, purchasing a slab, but it's quite pricey. I don't know. The book in question has just been announced for a movie, so it's, I think it's going to be in the same universe as Venom and Morbius, the, and that movie is going to be about Spider Woman. So number fourteen on our list for nineteen seventy seven is. The first appearance of Jessica Drew as Spider-Man, uh, as Spider-Man, as Spider-Woman in Marvel Spotlight, issue number 32. Yeah, I knew it was just a matter of time before She-Hulk and Spider-Woman came into the MCU and I'm kicking myself that I slept on it, really. I passed on a couple of ratty copies for 50, but um, I'd like a nice one. Well, it has sold 23 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 91% and a high sale, get ready for this, CGC 9.6 went for a staggering $725. Crazy stuff. I was seeing on, I think it was Comic Tom 101, that somebody's got uh, like about 300 minty copies of, uh, uh, is it that? And Spider Woman, number one. So expect a bit of a flood on the market. Up next, number 13 on our list, more Bronze Age goodness from Marvel. And of course, the trailer is due any week now, and it sounds like it's going to be epic. What effect will the trailer have on the book? Regardless, it's selling fantastic. The book in question, Eternals, issue number one. Showing off then. Eternals number one, guys. Um, what can you say about it? The first appearance and the origin of the Eternals team. Uh, we've got the first appearance of Icarus, who's going to be in the movie. The first appearance of the Defiance. Brother Toad, Margot Damien, Crow, Cataphrax, Dr. Damien, Vira. The first mention of the Celestials, who then go on to appear in issue two, which I've got as well. I'm very excited for this. As I am the new gods in the DC, it's nice to change it up, isn't it? As much as I like Iron Man and Thor, we'd like to see new characters, and we're getting plenty of them. This book sold 28 copies, still going crazy. Had a seven day trend of plus 77%, and a CGC 9.8 went for a staggering $955, guys. 
like I said before, I paid fourteen ninety five the day that this movie was announced, which was uh, in April of 2018. And I paid 12 quid, I think, for this copy. Nice again, but it's got a bit of a tape pull up there. But I think I can still cash in when the trailer drops. Number 12 on our list, probably the best-selling book of 2019, according to the stats. And this week it sold again. It's from 1992. Image, of course. Spawn, number number one. This time around, it sold 20 copies. Had a seven-day trend, a plus 123%, and a high sale CGC 9.8. Went for a whopping $114.95. So that old adage where mass-produced books, because there are thousands of these out there, mass-produced books can't garner coin. This one always does. Um, we got the first appearance of Jason Wynn and Mayor Boglia and Wonder Fitzgerald. They were all in that first Spawn film that I've got. I need to rewatch that. I got the first appearance of Sam and Twitch, Stephen Percival. It's the second title published by Image Comics. And of course, we've got some gorgeous Todd McFarlane art in this book. Good old Carboot Tony delivered a lovely copy for £1.31. I need to see Tony again soon. Number 11, and the first runner up to the big top 10. Again, I'm not really sure why we're getting so much love for this book. I know people are turning to this because they can't afford Werewolf by Night issue 32. Thankfully, I've got that when I when I did. I think I paid about 140 uh, for it. And uh, was it 120? It might have been 120. I'm hoping to get it graded soon. Yeah, I've sent my first book off to be graded uh, through a friend. I'm waiting to get my first appearance of um, The Black Widow back. Uh, I'm not expecting um, great things, but it'd be just cool to see what grade it gets. I'm thinking about a 3.0, but I am a harsh grader. And uh, so, like I said, there, people can't afford Werewolf by Night issue 32, so they're turning to this book. And the book in question, from 1980, of course, the Moon Knight issue number one, his first solo series. Now, this has got the first appearance of a villain called Bushman in it, and... Uh, he is rumoured to be one of the villains of that Moon Knight show, which I'm very excited about. And I'm even more excited because Daniel Radcliffe has just said he's not going to be Moon Knight. Get in there. Well, this book sold 28 copies at a seven-day trend of plus 92% and a high sale of CGC 9.8 went for $278.10. Uh, I keep seeing this book for between 5 and 20, but they're usually beat up. I, don't, I might grab a copy just for Bushman. But uh, I've said it before, I don't understand why Werewolf by Night issue 33 doesn't get more love than that book. I picked up a copy for about eight quid a little while ago, the second appearance of Moon Knight. So we're into the big top 10 guys, and this is where it really heats up and gets exciting. Number 10 on our list. Pictures have come out this week about uh, Woody Harrelson as uh, Cletus Cassidy. He's not got the big afro anymore, he's had a bit of a crew cut, and he... Uh, can't, one of my favourite actors, can't wait to see him in action as Carnage. Venom 2 is coming soon, and because of that, this book is heating up. Spider-Man Unlimited, issue number one, guys. And this is the first appearance of Shriek, who is Francis Louise Barrison. And she's going to be the secondary villain in that movie. Well, this book sold 35 copies, with an average raw sale now of $12.25. I paid two quid for this in the middle of 2017. So, uh, yeah, this story then continues into Web of Spider-Man, issue 101. Number nine on our list. I wasn't sure whether I had it. Sadly, I don't. Hoping I did. The book in question is heating up now because we are getting the New Mutants film any day now. And uh, I stayed away from the trailers. But this book features the first appearance of Magic's Soul Sword. Soul Sword, guys. And the book in question? Uncanny X-Men. Issue 171. Yeah, the first appearance of the Soul Sword. That book sold 13 copies and had an average price going for it $14.75. Decent stuff. Now, I made a hot comic book alert about this book and then I went out and grabbed, snagged a couple of copies. Uh, we're, of course, getting the Miss Marvel. Uh, TV show. Not a lot known about it, but a couple of books have been heating up due to their supposedly turning up in the Miss Marvel show. 
And one of those books is this one, Miss Marvel, issue number 12. And uh, this is the first appearance of Red Dagger. Red Dagger. And Red Dagger is Kareem, a Pakistani vigilante. Who I think could be a love interest for uh, Kamala Khan. And uh, like I say, I'm going to be appearing on the Disney Plus show. This moved 17 copies with an average price now of $13.39. I picked up one for £3.99 and I found another in a charity shop for £1.50. Go on, Dazzy. But uh, this is a Cameron Stewart cover and I like it a lot. Number seven on our list is another book heating up with all the movie news. That this is in the works from Sony. We've had Marvel Spotlight issue number 32. Now we have Spider Woman issue number one. Like I say, these books are flooding the market right now because I know one guy had so many mint copies. It sold 35 copies with an average raw sale now of $19.44. So it's still fairly affordable, but um, it won't be much longer, I don't think. Get out there trying to snag one of those. Number six on our list is a book that uh, I kind of made in a hot comic book alert about it. I spoke about HBO are getting a Rose and Thorn TV show. Yeah, bit of an unusual one, but... Uh, I've got I've jumped on the hype and I'll show you that in my comic book haul. But um rumour of a young Rosenthorn appearing, like I said, in this TV series has got this book heating up because this is where they're gonna take a lot of the storyline from. I know my good friend Lyric Magic Moments picked up a copy. National Comics, Rose and Thorn, issue number one. Yep, this is the one that they're gonna be basing a lot of the story upon, guys. What can I tell you about that? Well, it sold 19 copies with an average raw sale now of $17.73. I'd love to be able to get that HBO Max, but I don't think we can get it in the UK. Number five on our list, and is a book that's been quite hot for some time now. Now, whether it has died down a little bit, I think, but um, the book in question, anyway, is Giant Size Defenders. Issue number three. Now this is the first appearance of Korvac. Korvac. And uh, he was potentially leaked as being the villain in Captain Marvel 2. But since, we're getting news about Rogue turning up from the X-Men. So, it's still selling. It sold 11 copies with an average raw price now of $38.48. That's come down. I remember when that was around about 50 to 60. And like I said... Number four on our list, and Captain Marvel, uh, the sequel, number two. Rogue is apparently going to be turning up. Rogue's first appearance comes in Avengers Annual number 10. This sold 44 copies this past week with an average raw sale of $60.50. I've had a couple of copies of this, and uh, it's a great book. It takes forever to read, but it's a great book and it's a great storyline too. I could see it working. I would love to see Rogue in the Captain Marvel film and uh, I think there's a chance this is going to happen. So uh, stay tuned. What did I pay? For, oh, I was gifted one copy and I think the other copy I paid in the region of about 14 quid back in the day. So uh, yeah, I'm, I am overpaid for that one, thankfully. Number three on our list, and I'm um and I to get this. There's one on eBay at the moment for around about 20. I've spoke highly about it. The first appearance of Avar Chris. We've got the regular cover, which I've showed you. Now we have the one in 10, and this comes from Landini. Sorry, the one in 25 that comes from Landini. The first appearance of Avar Chris, The Rise of Kylo Ren, issue number three, The Incentive. Trust me, guys, don't sleep on this book. From what, if you get a chance, go and watch the trailer. They've actually released a four minute trailer for the High Republic. And I can see this being at least a TV show, if not a trilogy of movies. It sold 20 copies, that variant, with an average price going at $19. It's a great one to get, I think. Number two on our list, 
And uh, I've got the original Legion of Monsters issue number one, where the team first forms a nice Bronze Age book. A pound, a fact, I think I found it a con for a quid. Nice grade too. Well, of course, we're getting the Morbius movie. And Jared Leto has just made a tweet. And in that tweet, he is reading this book. And he is getting some research done, he said. And the book in question, Legion of Monsters, issue number one. Obviously, a more recent title. And that comes from 2011. I would love to see the full Legion of Monsters with all the gang there. You know, Blade, uh, sorry, Morbius and uh, Man-Thing. I can't remember the other ones. I think Werewolf by Night was there too. That book, because of that tweet, sold 28 copies with an average raw sale of $15.09. That leaves us finally onto the last book. And well, I saw this in my LCS. And they bumped up the price. You know, if I'm not too happy when the shops do it, but I know they've got to make a profit, I suppose. Um it was in my LCS for nine pound up on the shelf. I'm not going to. I thought about it, but at the time it's only going for around about fifteen. So I don't think there's enough profit in it. So I don't. I wouldn't be keeping it. But the book in question, number one, Venom Twenty Three, the Scotty Young variant. Yeah, this is the first appearance of Donny Cates <laughs> in comic books, I believe, as well. So uh, yeah, it's not going too crazy. But it sold an enormous amount of copies, 67 in fact, and the average raw price now of $19.37. I think that's come down slightly, but uh, it wasn't for me, not at £9. I like to find them on the cheap. That's Daz. Job done. And this time round I've had a poorer week. Last week I had 10. This week, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Seven to beat, guys. I'm there for the taking. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, all that jazz. It means the world to me. That's Daz overnight. Oh, I'll remember world record 788. Bye.